Hey guys, so we are going to show you how to quickly and efficiently uh, set up. First, we're going to show you all the parts. I would recommend setting up everything on a table or on the floor like this so you have all the parts in front of you and you know you're not missing anything. Got the seat, got the straps. You uh, Then you have your M8 screws, washers, shrapnel, and nuts. Um, you have the M6 long uh, screw, shrapnel, and nut. Uh, the M6 short screw, um, and of course you have the attachments as well that is going to make the uh, hoverboard stay in place. We've got the tire. Yes, it might be a little hairy at first, um, but that's completely normal. Uh, we do have the shocks um, and the two-part frame. So we are going to show you how to assemble it quickly and efficiently. One, we are going to assemble the front end tire to the front end base. Uh, here you have your parts. You've got four M8 screws, washers, shrapnel, and nuts, and its corresponding wrench. Uh, I have lined them up in order of assembly, so we will show you how that goes. So lay your base flat. Apply the first screw through the hole. Lay it back down again. Line up the tire. Sure, the screws go through each hole, and now you're going to apply your parts. You're first going to start with your washers. And then you're going to apply the shrapnel. And now the nuts. So just kind of line them up, maybe give them a little twirl so it's easier for you when you actually start turning them into place with the wrench. <laughs> Here's your assembled tire piece. Um, you will notice that it has freedom of movement and that is completely normal. Um, that'll actually give it a more safe ride. And now we are going to assemble the shocks to the front end base. Um, this is the right side up here. And here are the parts that you need in order. We've got the M6 long. You will notice there are two M6 screws. With these, we are working with the long. Um, and then your two shrapnels and nuts. Uh, and here's the shocks here. So you want to line up the base of the shock. You'll notice there's two holes. A hole on the base and a hole on the shock and you're going to apply a screw in the middle. And you should feel it come out the bottom there. And you're going to apply the shrapnel. why it's important to have a flat surface to work with. Some stages might be a little bit difficult to manage. So you just twist that on and use its corresponding wrench to tighten. Okay, so this is the finished assembled frame. You will notice that the uh, handlebars, for lack of a better word, are uh, pointed outwards away from the shocks. Um, and towards the uh, middle part of what the assembled frame is going to be. Um, so the next step would be to assemble the seat to the frame. Uh, and we are going to use the four M6 short uh, screws. Um, and we have a, a jerry key for that as well. So you line up the seat with the corresponding holes on the base. And then you're going to take 
each screw, pop them in place, and you're gonna use the jerry key to screw them in place. Here is your assembled uh, seat, and now what we are gonna do is apply the front end of the frame to the back end of the frame. You wanna just push that through. And what you wanna do is you want to fasten and tighten the clamps. This might be a little tricky. You do need to use quite a bit of pressure to get these fastened uh, securely. So Daniel is just turning it there and then fastening the clasp. Do the same on the other end. What you're going to want to do is you do a little pressure test and see if you can pull it apart. And if you can't, then you know you've got the job done right. Uh, we need to finish up by securing the straps uh, to the base of the cart. Uh, you can see over here that we've already done this. Um, there is a, they are a little bit loose, um, and that is completely normal. That just allows a little forgiveness for um, possibly some larger hoverboards to fit in. Um, so these are the pieces that you're gonna use here. We're gonna show you how to do that. Again, you wanna stay on a flat surface. It's just gonna help you out with this process. So you'll notice that the parts are facing down and the screws are at the top. You wanna make sure that there is some forgiveness there. So we are gonna show you how to secure the board to the cart with our straps. Um, I will reiterate, there were two sets of straps. You really only need one for this um, and we are gonna show you how to do it. So you're going to take the Velcro side up. You're going to slip it through the slot at the back first. Again, ensuring the Velcro side is up. Slide it under the wheel. And slip the strap going underneath through the other slot. And when you pull that really tightly, as tightly as you can, then you can weave the Velcro together and the board is fastened. Now at this point, if you would like, you can secure these uh, frames as well if you would like a tighter fit for your board. Important part of the assembly is to quality control your uh, cart. You wanna make sure that it's secure before any customers get on it. So we're gonna do that. assembled.